Good afternoon everybody, Teresa Smith here with Avon. Today I wanted to bring you a video talking about the seven most common reasons people decide to not join direct sales. Now this isn't anything particular to Avon, this is any direct sales company. These are the seven most common reasons I hear other direct sales people hear no matter the company on the reasons why they don't want to join. I want to dig into these reasons and trying to figure out is it a reason or is it an excuse. So let's dive into them. I can't join Avon because I don't know enough people. You don't know enough people that when I think about that I think I bet you if I sit down and talk to you and had you open up your phone you probably have quite a few people in your phone and then we could check out your Facebook page and how many people you're friends with and check out your other social medias and see how many people you're friends with there but then also it's like well um, do you know someone at a school do you attend school and do you know people there do you have children in school and do you know some of the teachers maybe you don't know them as a personal friend but you may know their first name so I think you kind of get a, along the lines of where I'm going with this you may sit back and think oh I don't know very many people I kind of like just stick to myself and I kind of like just go home and um, but I bet you you know more people than what you're thinking you do so let's go on to the next one my family won't buy from me so my family I have a very small family to start with but no one in my family buys from me. No one. They've never bought from me. Let's put it that way. Um, so I sell, last year I sold over $15,000 worth of Avon. This year I'm going to sell a lot more than that. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have your family supporting you in this business by buying stuff and helping you with your sales. Now if they do, great, great. I'm glad that they do, but if, if you have a family where no one in your family buys, to me that is an excuse to not do direct sales versus an actual reason. All right, I live in a small town. Well, let me tell you, I live in a very small town let me tell you how small I haven't googled the population of it but let me tell you a little bit of reference about how small my town is we have one stoplight we have one convenience store that maybe sells milk bread and fountain cokes and cigarettes and stuff like that it's not a full-fledged grocery store it's a convenience store um, we maybe have one two three four maybe seven eight nine streets if you go from south south end of town to north end of town we're talking about maybe eight nine streets that's how big my town is so if i can do this in a small town then so can you what you got to do is you just got to branch out you've got to go to other towns um, what's the nearest town um, to you other than the town that you live in and there's always social media social media is a blessing you can reach hundreds of people in social media that doesn't live right in your town so to me, I don't, I live in a small town, I'm sorry, but it's, it's an excuse, not a reason. Okay, I don't have the time. I understand that, I do understand that. It kinda is a reason, however, let me tell you, I'm a single mom, I have a full-time job other than my Avon business. I work about 40, 45 hours a week at my other job and my daughter is a teenager and she is involved in activities so I do have to run and transport her to these different activities um, I like I said I'm a single mom I don't have someone else helping me run and drive her places it's all dependent upon me so if I can do this in the little bit of time that I have I know you can too it's all about are you willing to do this? Are you willing to work a couple hours a, a day, a couple hours a week? And also just take 
you know, as a reminder that this is, if you did join a direct sales company, it's your business. And so you can work your business how many hours a week that you want to. Now, you know, it's kind of like the more you do, the more you get. I, I don't care. Don't let nobody fool you. The more you do, the more you're going to get. So, you know, it's all about whether you're willing to sacrifice some time. Are you willing to, like, let's say if you have a child in baseball right now and you're sitting there on the, the, um, the bleachers watching the practice, are you willing to be, you know, working on a little bit of your direct sales at that time? Are you willing to work on a little bit on your lunch hour? I'm on my lunch hour right now. I do a lot of my direct, my Avon business on my lunch hour and after work. So to me, I'm sorry, but not enough time is kind of an excuse. I mean, I do get it. I am a busy person. I'm a real busy person. I understand it, but if you really want something and you want it bad, you will find the time. I mean, if, um, if you want a really, a pair of shoes really bad and your local store doesn't have it, but you know the store 50 miles away has it, would you find the time to drive 50 miles away to go get those pair of shoes if you really wanted them really bad? You would find the time. So it's all about, you know, do you really want this for yourself? All right, moving on. I'm too shy to approach people. I understand that one as well because believe it or not, I am or was a very shy person. Um, used to be extremely shy until I got out on my own. You know how it is when you live with your parents, then you get out on your own, then you have to, you have to talk to the, um, people to pay your bills. You have to talk to the landlord or the mortgage company. So that kind of gets you out of that a little bit. But if you're a person that's still living with someone else that's handling all that for you, this is a tool to help you get over your shyness. And believe it or not, I have seen so many people walk into this business extremely shy, extremely shy, couldn't talk to people. And by within a year or two years, you wouldn't believe the difference in them and how they're able to talk to people. Um, and there's ways to, to work this business to where people approach you where you don't have to approach them. So there's different techniques and ways that I can show you and train you um, how to put those things in place to where people are approaching you versus you having to go out and approach people. So I'm too shy to approach people. I'm sorry, but it's an excuse. I don't wear makeup. I've heard that one before. I don't wear makeup. And that's fine. Not everybody in the world wears makeup. But guess what? With my direct sales company, we are more than just makeup. Sometimes when I tell people I'm with Avon, they think, um, sometimes a lot of them think, oh, Skin So Soft, the Skin So Soft bath oil. That's the number one. If they don't say that, then um, they say, I'm, I don't wear makeup or I don't wear very much makeup. Well, have you seen a brochure lately? Because we have a lot more than just makeup. Um, so if you don't wear makeup, if you are a person that doesn't wear makeup, that's fine. That's cool. That's, that's totally, totally fine. You can still do this business. You can focus on the bath and body pro products. You can focus on the fragrances. Maybe you love to smell, uh, sell, smell. <laughs> Maybe you love to sell perfume. Maybe you're a candle person. Maybe you would love to focus on candles. Maybe you're a fashion. Maybe you love all the fashions and the trends and all that, and you would love to sell our clothing line and our purses and our shoes. Um, it, we have numerous avenues on what you could sell. And if you've come across a customer that does wear makeup and she does want to buy makeup, then great doesn't mean you have to wear it and you have to apply it moving on so that's kind of a, an excuse to me I don't have the money this is probably maybe the number one reason I get for not joining um, my company is I don't have the money and I get that I, I I totally understand that because believe it or I mean believe me 
there was a period of time in my life where I struggled like especially during my divorce and all that like I was living paycheck to paycheck I had maybe twenty dollars left in my pocket and that had to go to gas money to get me to my job so I totally get the fact of living paycheck to paycheck and not having extra money to put towards a business like this but there are ways to get that money there are ways and you know it as well as I do if you want something bad enough you find the money right you squeeze nickels and dimes every week until you've got the money um, and then there's other ways like there's you know borrowing from family or friends okay you can't do that I've had women who sold a couple items on yard sale sites and came up with the money because um, uh, with Avon we're only talking thirty dollars thirty dollars like that's only like when my boyfriend and I go out to eat we spend twenty thirty forty sometimes fifty dollars just for the two of us to go out to eat depends on where we go if it's a sit-down restaurant if it's a fast food restaurant but still that's one takeout or you know dining out a week that you could eliminate from your life to get the money and if you have to save money for two or three months until you had the money then that's what you could do um, but I also want to throw in there there is one more other way we do I do have a way for you to earn that money there's a way for you to earn your $30 so then you could take that $30 and pay for your starter fee to join. And if that's something you're interested in, we can talk about that further. Um, but there is a way to earn the money with our company. All right. So many times I just, that's the seven right there that I just went over. I just want to throw out there many times a lot of these things people are there may be valid reasons but more along the fact of excuses excuses why they don't want to do the business and many times it's fear fear of failure oh I don't want to do that because I might not make my money back or I don't want to do that because people might make fun of me or I don't want to do that because my husband might say something I mean more along the lines it's mostly fear and let me tell you you've only got one life to live you need to do something that you enjoy in your life do you know I read um, that 89% of Americans hate their job 89% that's a high percentage so 89% of the people driving to work this morning hated where they were going they hated where they worked or they hated what they did or some people have a really mean boss I mean I've been there before I've had bosses treat me like dirt before well what if you're your own boss are you I mean you know you're gonna treat yourself good right you're not gonna have that person standing over you dictating to you even though you're busting your butt every day every week and then they don't pat you on the back or they don't um, you know show you appreciation for what you're doing but shoo, boy they're quick to get on to you if you mess up one little thing aren't they that's corporate America for you direct sales you're your own boss you decide what you're gonna do with your business you decide if you're gonna be part-time full-time flexible hours you decide what you're gonna put into your business if you want to work 50 hours this week but maybe next week you want to only work 10 or if you want to work two hours today but tomorrow you're going to take tomorrow off because your your kid has something at school you can just do that do you know my child is homesick right now and at my corporate America job I have to ask permission if I can leave if she texts me or calls me and says this happened the other day she, the school nurse called me and said your child's sick she needs to go home she's running a fever she's got a sore throat da 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 I had to go to my employer and ask can I leave 
you know, in, in my heart, it's like, I don't care what you're saying to me. If you tell me I have to stay, I'm probably going to leave anyways. But in corporate America, you have to have permission to leave your work. Um, permission to take the day off because your child is sick. Permission to be able to go on a field trip with your child. And, you know, on and on and on. And in direct sales, you don't have to ask anybody permission because you're the boss. If you want to take that entire day and go to the park with your child and go spend time with your child or go take them here because they've never been there, it's all up to you. But guess what? Even though it's up to you, you determine how much you're going to make. So with that regards, if you want to make some money, if you want to make some serious money, you're going to have to work towards it. You see where I'm getting? Like even though you get to take days off, you you got to you got to work. You can't take every day off and then expect the money to be there. With our business with Avon, I love Avon because there's many avenues as far as how to sell the products. Currently, you know, you may, you know, if you're watching this video down the road, Avon does change policies every once in a while. Um, they change incentives, they change um, um, payouts and stuff like that. So, but currently today, if you want to focus directly on social media and that's how you want to sell, you could do that. So you could sit at home, you could get the laundry done, you could take watch the kids, the kids wouldn't have to go to daycare, um, and you could be posting on social media, you could be reaching out to people, you could be doing Facebook Lives, however you want to work your business. If you want to do parties, you could do parties. But guess what? We're not a company that's going to look at you and say, you have to do parties. You have to turn in one party a month. To be an Avon representative. That's not with Avon. Avon, you choose how you want to work your business. If you want to do fundraisers, my gosh, we have some awesome fundraisers. We have actual fundraising flyers, fundraising collection envelopes, just like the fundraisers you see go through the school systems. We have those. You can reach out to your community. You can reach out to your schools, your churches, and guess what? Your community can have a fundraiser for anybody. If there's someone in your community that's suffering from cancer and they have um, so many bills that they can't you know, pay their bills, as a community, you guys could go together and have a fundraiser for that person. It does not have to be an organization. If you wanted to sell family to family, friend to friend, door to door, it's all up to you and that's what I love about Avon I can target my business how I want when I first joined Avon I'm already working a 40 to 45 hour a week job I did not want to be locked into having to do parties I didn't because at that time um, social media wasn't as big as it is today but I did not want to be away from home every weekend doing parties because I'm away from home enough the way it is working with corporate America. That's the glory of Avon. You can, you don't have to do parties. You can, you know, work your business how you want. Okay, I think I've said that enough. Enough. But let me give you a few other benefits of my Avon business. I get a free website. Free. After my $30 starter fee, you get a free website. I know there's some companies out there that charge annually, yearly, for you to have their websites. With Avon, it's free. Free training. We have gobs of training. Gobs. Like in your back office, once you become an Avon representative, there's Avon University. Avon University. It's called Avon U. There is tons of training in there. Tons. And then on top of that, you're, if you sign up with me, you're going to get my training. I have a Facebook page for my team members. I have other groups and stuff that you will be involved. You can be involved in that you can be added to. Tons of training out there. I'll do one-on-one -on -one with you. 
if you sign up underneath me, I am going to be working with you one-on-one -on -one until you feel comfortable enough that you don't need me that much. But I will always be here for you to be able to reach out to me if you have questions or if you have concerns or if you don't know how to do this or do that. You will not be left alone. And in our group, you can go on there and ask questions and everybody else can help you as well. We're one big family achieving you know the same things in life the common interest in life free social media training we have some gurus you know that are top-notch social media people um, the Avon has hired these people to help us representatives to become better at social media to understand social media more to understand how it works to understand how to set up things in social media, how to post things, you know, how to how to be on social media, how to talk on social media, you name it, they've got the trainings and you will be connected to those people as well so that you can gain the knowledge to get the sales on social media that you will want. All right. And within that social media group, they offer us thousands probably thousands I'm gonna say hundreds if not thousands of images and things that you can post in your social medias that you do not have to go out and do all the work of trying to get the image and all this that's right there in your back office click on the image click what day you want it to post on your social media what social media place do you want it to post at and it's a scheduler you can schedule it to post whenever you want if you're a busy person like me, you may want to sit down on Sundays and schedule all your posts for the week. And then as the days and times come, boom, 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 there's your posts that hit your social medias. Even though you're off at the park with your children, you're off at Corporate America doing your other job while you're trying to build your Avon business. It's a blessing to have all this social media training and all these social media posts that we have. Um, Avon offers lots of incentives and prizes and giveaways oh my gosh lots of incentives like there's incentives to win trips like people are just coming back from a trip from Hawaii um, that they earned uh, Los, Los Cabos Los Cabos Mexico is next um, and then um, that right now people are trying to earn a trip to Jamaica now, other than that, there are our, our national conventions. We have those once a year. This year, it's in New Orleans. Every Avon representative is invited to attend that. Um, so, tons of trips if you're a person that likes to travel. And then also incentives as far as you can earn Avon logo merchandise to help you market yourself as an Avon person. Avon t-shirts, Avon swag, Avon bags, um, you name it. But then on top of that, cash prizes. Who doesn't love cash? I love cash. Do you love cash? I love cash because I don't have to spend that cash on my Avon if I don't want to. I can spend that cash on my groceries. I can spend that cash and go buy myself a new outfit. Um, you, I can take that cash and take my family out to eat tonight. So I love those incentives. So we have some cash incentives that are offered to us as well. I love how Avon has always given us something to strive and to achieve for and things to try to push us. You know, you push yourself to try to earn these incentives. But what will you end up happening is you've pushed yourself to earn this, but you are now in a bigger sales title. So now you earn more profit. So it's an awesome thing. And let's see, what else do I need to mention? Lots of new friends, new people to meet. I mean, oh my gosh, you're going to meet thousands of Avon representatives. You'll be connected to those in groups within Facebook, social media. Um, we're all one big family. We try to help encourage one another. We share things that are working. Um, you might go on one page today and this person's sharing a flyer that they did, um, that they posted. This person's telling how 
um, they took the product out to customers and showed them how it gained sales for them. There's always people helping others. And that's what I love as well. So if you're a person that wants a group community, um, if you want a group that will help you, we have that. And within my own group, we do fun things. We get together every once in a while. We do local meetings if you're local. We do online meetings if you're a distance away from us. Um, we do gatherings, trips, you name it. Whatever you're looking for, it's here. All you have to do is join. Your success and the change of your life and being becoming a better you and gaining confidence and getting more money in your pocket and you know being proud of yourself that you're doing this for yourself you are doing this for yourself for your family for your future because you only have one life to live do not be in the 89 percent of the Americans that are traveling to work hating their job come to work loving what you do I love Avon I love my job because it doesn't feel like a job I get to help people on a daily basis I help people with their products if they have a need uh, people reach out to me and say I have extremely dry itchy skin and I can't stand it anymore do you have a product and guess what I do and I I offer that product to them they try it I have so many people that said oh my gosh that product actually works so you know I get to do that for people then my team members, people who join me, I get to see them flourish. I get to see them change their lives. I get to see them bring money to their families. I get to see them grow. It's an awesome thing. I love helping people. So if you are one of those people that would love to try this and love to give it a chance, it's only $30. And I'm about ready to cough because I have allergies. Hold on. $30 to change your life. Wouldn't you be willing to spend $30 if you knew on the other side of that $30 was success? Give it a chance. Give it a try. It's worth it. I'm telling you. It's worth it. And listen, if you get in this business and you say okay I've tried it I've tried it I've tried it it's not for me I'm no no one is holding you captive you don't have to stay we hope and pray that you stay because you got to give it a chance you got to give it time to find the customers to build the business and everything but $30 don't buy that pizza this weekend stick that money back and change your life you will not regret it. Thanks everybody for tuning into this this video. If you have any questions, please shoot me a comment down below. I would love to talk talk to you. We'll personally message back and forth or I'll give you my cell phone number where we can chat. If you're on the fence, if you think Teresa, this all sounds great, but I don't know, like I have some questions or some concerns. If you're one of those people, reach out to me because you know I'm not a pushy person I will never push you into something that is not right for you but if I am talking to you and I think this is right for you I will just let you know this is right for you because I this is what this can offer you are you willing and it's all up to you just like this business is up to you just like how much money is up to you joining is up to you I cannot push go or join for you. You have to do that step. But let me tell you, your success, your happiness, your change in life is right on the other side of join. Just click join. Thanks, everybody.